All right, guys, here we go. It's the next part of the coffee table build. So I'm gonna try and finish this in one video. Hopefully that's gonna mean putting a top on here, sanding the top down, putting the finish on it that we need, and then finishing the rest of the barrel. So sanding a few edges, putting a stain on it, clear coating it, getting that lovely finish that we like on the rest of the, the builds that I've done. So, from the last part, if you haven't watched it, there's a link down below, go and watch it. We put these support beams in. So this was to make sure that the barrel regained its shape, because when you cut them in half, they sort of fall open a little bit. But we want to put those sides back in. So to make sure we can do that, you put them in, you'll see it in the last video, put them in, you essentially tighten the barrel back up and secure it in place with these. The great thing about these is We've got quite a platform that we can secure the top of the table to. So, over here, I've got some pallet wood. Now, at one point in its life, this would have been part of the pallet that the barrels came on. But what we're going to use it for is the tabletop. I know you're thinking, oh, some scrappy pallet wood. Thing is, thing is, pallet wood quite thick, it's quite robust. Obviously you store things on it. Sometimes it breaks when it's flimsy stuff like this. But every now and then you get decent bits of pallet wood. Now we're gonna sand that back and we're gonna put a nice finish on it so it's gonna go well with the table. It's gonna look pretty rustic, be quite strong and hopefully long lasting. So what we're gonna be doing this video is putting the top on and showing you how to do it. Remember what I said about it being hard wearing? But I've got a plan for that, don't worry. So for now, I'm just gonna put that back in there. And you can see what we've got to work with. So, make sure I've got the wood in the sort of position I want. Like I say, some of this wood's got notches in it or little bits missing. Now you can keep those for the characteristics of the table. No one wants just a plain smooth tabletop. You might as well just go Ikea for that. Instead, we want a bit of uh, character. So, first things first, you wanna take a rule, tape measure, anything you can that can measure a, a distance that's easy to hold. What we wanna do is make sure we get this wood centered. So at the moment, I know for a fact I need three centimeters either side for this wood. Right now, I'm a little bit more like four, so I'm just gonna move that over. I've gone too far. Now this might take you a little while, but once you get it there, we'll start to fasten it down. I've got three centimeters there. And I've got three centimeters here. The reason I've chosen three centimeters is you want the table to stick out so that it's useful. But you don't want it to stick out so much that you can't see the side of the barrel because, well, what's the point of that? But if you don't have it sticking out enough, it looks a bit weird. It doesn't look like a table. So we've got it in position this way. Next thing we want to do is make sure the wood is aligned with the barrel. Easiest way to do this is stand at the side and look down and make sure it lines up with the rest of the barrel. But as a bit more of an accurate check, go to one end of the barrel, stick your rule on, got about six centimeters there, six centimeters there. So I know, I know that this barrel is nice and centered with this tabletop and it's not gonna be at an angle. So, next thing you wanna do is remove all of the wood by the last one. Whilst you're doing this, make sure you don't nudge it, knock it, move it. Because we've just checked that that's in the right position. That's gonna be our datum point. 
So I'm just going to go ahead and remove all this wood. Now we know that's in position, we want to lock it in place. Take some clamps, and we're just going to secure it in place, all right? This means that when we screw it down, it won't shift. All right, that's good. So next, we're going to want to take a drill or a screwdriver if you don't have access to a drill. Take some wood screws. I use decking screws, I find these are quite useful. Now it doesn't have to be perfectly accurate, but you wanna make sure that if you look at it by eye, the screws line up. The other thing is, well there was no other thing, I forgot what it was. I'll probably edit this bit out. Now remember these support struts come out to the side. These two end pieces are the most important ones to make sure that you get the screw to actually go through the support wood. You don't want to come down, say, here, because you're not going to attach to anything. So always have a look underneath. And find out where your support wood comes out to, or your support strut, or beam, whatever the word is for it. I know mine is about there. Now when you put the screws into the wood, you're going to want to screw them in just a little bit below the surface. Because afterwards we're going to sand this down and we're going to come down to meet the screw. If you leave the screw at the same level as the wood, you're going to sand part of the head off and that might cause the screw head to come out or to break off. You know, we want it to look pretty, but also function. You don't want to lift up the table and it fall apart. So, we're going to line this up the next one. Check underneath, make sure it's going to go into the support strut. Just like that. It's really simple. Now, uh, I'm not going to reach for this side, so I'm going to have to come around here. I might get in your way. So same principle, same place, there's just a lot of screwing there. Make sure it's all lined up. How about that? And the last one for this bit of wood. Make sure this is all nice and centered. It looks pretty good. And every single one of them has gone through. So we take our wood clamps off. That's nice and secure. Which is good. So now that's our dating point, all you've got to do is take your next bit of wood and slot it on. Now, you might have noticed that the wood's sticking out a little bit more over this side than it is that side. That's okay. The wood I've got here is too long, so we're gonna have to cut it down anyway. Now, when we come to cutting it down, you've got two options. You can either cut it straight, you can have a nice flush edge like you've got there, or what I'm going to do is slightly stagger it. It'll give it a little bit more character, it'll look a little bit more rustic. Some people might not like it, in which case, do it nice and straight. In my case, I quite like the idea of it being a bit uneven. I have to see how it looks. I might make a mistake. So, again, you're gonna to wanna to line this up. Now, I've previously used this bit of wood, so I've already got some screw holes in it. So I'm gonna line it up as best I can. Now we know that's all straight, so I'm just pushing it nice and flush. I need some screws, there we go. Don't forget, clamp it in place. Stop it from moving. That's basically gonna be 
a repeat repeat process until you've gone all the way across. So I'll probably speed this bit up and just show you very quickly going across until we get to the next part. <laughs> screw is all you need. Perfectly strong enough. Already looks like a table. Right, for the next part, you're going to want to take that measurement you got earlier from the edge of the barrel to the edge of the tabletop. So, if I remember rightly, mine was three centimetres. Three centimetres. You're going to want to take the edge of the barrel that sticks out the most, so that'll be right here on the edge here, edge of the band, the wood, whichever sticking out the most, and you're going to want to add that measurement across. Then going to want to take an engineer's square, or if you haven't got one, but you have a wood saw, not a hacksaw, if you've got a wood saw lying around, if you put this edge here onto the wood, like so, the blade is actually acting as a 90 degree square. So. Remember that measurement you got here? In my case, it's three centimetres. You're going to measure off the edge of the barrel. So I've got three centimetres there. You're going to line it up with your engineer's square or your wood saw. Now, if you're uncertain, add more length. You can always cut more wood off, but you can't add it back on. Or you can, but it's just very hard. Take your time. There's an old saying, measure twice, cut once. Once you've got your measured length, take a pencil, scribe, pen. Just draw your line across. Make sure you go over the halfway point and take your square or wood saw. Make sure it's nice and flat on the opposite side. And line it up with the line you've just drawn. So now you can continue it all the way across and have a nice straight line to cut across. There you go. That's gonna be the edge of our table. Now, do the same on the other side, exact same method.
cup, just make another measurement, another check. And then just have a look at it. Imagine the table being at the edge of where that line is and make sure you're happy before you cut. Right. Now you get a cut. So take your saw, soak a saw, and just cut down a line. Simple as that. <laughs> an annoying time to spot that across the workshop. That would have made it a lot easier. At least you know it can be done with a hacksaw. Alright guys, I know I said I was going to do this in one part, finish the whole barrel. However, if I do that, it's going to be quite a lengthy video and it's going to take me a bit longer to get the whole video out. Now, it's been a while since I've uploaded, so I want to make sure you've got something to watch in the meantime. So I've split this video in two. We've got to this stage, there's not much more to go, but the process itself to do takes some time. So you've now got this part, you now know how to get up this far with the barrel. And uh, the next part, the last part, I promise, will go through putting some detailing on the top, sanding it back, putting the nice stain on it and a clear coat. I mean, if you've watched the rest of the videos I've done, you can probably work it out, but I'm going to do it for you. It's just gonna take some time. So I appreciate you being patient and I want you to know that I've got a lot of ideas ready to go after this has moved out of the way. I've got some more space. So you have to stay tuned and uh, stay subscribed and you never know, you might see another project you wanna make. So once again, Thank you from Bear Mountain for watching and I'll see you very soon.